coast is known as the citadel of education in Ghana, partly because formal education started from the ancient capital. Ghana's Independence Day, however, cannot be marked in Cape Coast without reflecting on some major events that took place in the colonial era. Amongst them is the establishment of the Castle School, which was instituted to educate mixed-race children in the year 1765 by Reverend Philip Kweku. The school, later in 1956, was named after Reverend Philip Kweku and thus became Philip Kweku Anglican Boys School. As Ghana celebrates its 65th independence in Cape Coast, it has become imperative to draw attention to the first school in West Africa and Ghana in particular. Philip Kweku Boys, as it is popularly known, needs urgent attention, else it would waste away and history would be wiped as every facet of the school infrastructure is deteriorated. From roofing to the main school block is falling apart. Even though there has been numerous reports from time immemorial about the challenges of the school, nothing has been done about the situation. The school, according to the assistant headmistress, Comfort Ousu, has produced very important persons in the society. The school is located at Bakanunya, the police, the district police station. The current population is 284 from Indagati to the junior high school. It has its motto, Yasasha Sininyan School, meaning the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. The school has produced many prominent people in the country. Some of them are Osaben Bapisata II, Omaino of Uwa traditional area, Honorable Ebenezer Sechihuiz, former Speaker of Parliament during President at the Kumbu Force regime, Mr. Samuel Walker, Western Armed Forces Command, and many more. The Central Regional Minister, Justina Marigold Asan, who paid a visit to the school as part of activities marking the 65th independence anniversary, however charged residents to shun the politicization of the school and rather contribute towards the redevelopment of the school. see beautiful structures, beautiful grounds, library itself, speaking for itself and all of that. This dates back so many years, so, so many years, if you are even counting them, looking at us, centuries, Osar Berima himself being a product of this school, then it means that as citizens of this place, we have a lot of things to do for ourselves, not waiting on the government to come and do anything for us. Even if you look at some of the sheets ripping off, can't we get any individual in this town to buy a sheet? to put there and waiting for the government to come and salvage the situation. We shouldn't wait till it collapses on us before we can get up off our shelves and then do something for ourselves. And I also plead that we don't use this school because of its historic background to do politics. I was not happy because I was on a particular platform. Something happened in the school and we gave ourselves up for the public to use this place as a platform to do their political campaigns. We are going to use this place, if you give it to the politicians, they'll do it their own way. And the results that we want will not get them. So if we really need this place to be refurbished, we want it to be done, then we know where to go. From the Philip Kwaku School in Cape Coast, my name is Georgina Apia, reporting for City News.